by day. This class is regarding on consignment procurement process in SAP materials management. Let's get started right away. Now, now I'm explaining about consignment procurement process theoretically. Then I'll be explaining practically about consignment procurement process practically in SAP system. Consignment procurement process is one of the most significant procurement processes in SAP materials management purchase. It is a special procurement process. It is a form of business process where the vendor will keep the stock of materials at purchaser's premises due to various reasons. The reasons can be something like overproduction at the vendor. Sometimes the vendor will be running out of the space. That time he will be looking for the space. Even though the vendor has sent and accommodated the goods at the purchaser's premises, the stock belongs to the vendor only. Like the vendor has got the liability and the ownership of the material stock. Material stock remains in the books of the vendor. When we want to use those materials, what we do? We withdraw the stock from consignment stock to our own stock. We are liable for the withdrawn quantities only. Like for example, we have got 1000 quantities of materials at consignment stock. We have withdrawn some 700 quantities for the usage. Then we are liable for those 700 quantities. For this reason, for every withdrawal, the consignment vendor will be notified for withdrawals of materials from consignment stock on a regular basis. To achieve this consignment procurement process in SAP system, we will have to make sure the following steps. First, consignment info record must be activated by using transaction code OMEV. Then, in OBYC transaction code, you will have to maintain the GL account for consignment payables, KON transaction event. Then, we should create a material, then we can have a vendor, then we should create a purchasing info record for the material and vendor combination which is mandatory master record for consignment procurement process. In purchasing info record, we will have to maintain the info category as consignment. We can capture tax code and net price also. After creating a purchasing info record, what we do? We create a purchase order which is nothing but consignment purchase order to the consignment vendor on materials. After placing a PO to the consignment vendor, consignment vendor will be dispatching the goods to our premises. What we do? We do the goods receipt, which is going to be non valuated because the stock belongs to the consignment vendor. Let us assume that we want to withdraw the stock from consignment stock to our own stock. That time we do the transfer posting with movement type 411. We can use either MB1B or MIGO transaction code to do the transfer force thing. We have withdrawn the quantities, then we are liable for the withdrawn quantities. The settlement, the payment will be done to the respective consignment vendor, which will be done by using transaction code MRKO. This one is meant for automatic settlement or special procurement process consignments. So far, we have done with the theoretical things. Now, we are going to see the practicals in SAP. Let us do it. Here we go. Slash N OMEB. Here, we need to activate the consignment info record. You can see the radio button has been set for this consignment info record active. OBYC. You need to make sure the GL account for transaction event key KON, consignment payments, startup accounts, IND. This is the one, okay. Now you see the GL accounts have been assigned. Now everything is in place. Now let us create a material. Enter. Select the views as per the requirements. Basic data 1 and 2, purchasing, general plan data storage 1 and 2, and lastly we can have accounting only. 
click on organizational levels select plant de1 storage location pe1c pe1c is meant for consignment storage location we are into basic data one view material description i want to give something like finance use one liter base unit of measure pieces material group 74147 you can see 7417 is meant for beverages weight gross weight 1 kg night weight is also 1 kg we are into purchasing view here mainly we need to enter the purchasing group i want to say 350 so your PRD. Enter. 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 We are into accounting one view. Here valuation class must be chosen. I'm gonna choose this 2000 raw materials one as valuation class. Price control V. V is meant for moving average price. Ten Indian rupees. That's it. Enter. Save. We did create one material under this number for our consignment procurement process. Now let us create a vendor slash m xk01. Company code five double zero five. Purchasing organization PBE one. Accounting group ZP TV Here we need to maintain the vendor address Company RM Industries Private Limited Search term RM SK Road House number something like 789 Postal code 5636 City Bangalore Bangalore Country IN India Region 29 Karnataka Enter Then enter 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 reconciliation account, which is nothing but GL account, one lakh sixty thousand. Cash management group must be chosen. I want to say A one domestic domestic payments. Enter payment terms triple zero eight. We are into purchasing data. Order currency Indian rupees INR 0008. Now everything is in place. Let me set this year based invoice verification in control data. Okay. Acknowledgement required. Payable person something like Mr. D. Telephone number. Something like this. Purchasing group 351. Alright. Save. So we are done with vendor creation. Remember this vendor number. Last two digits 87. Now let us create a purchasing info record by using transaction code ME11. 87. Vendor then material double three which we have created just now purchasing organization PBE one plant PE one make sure info category consignment since we are dealing consignment procurement process 
here maintain the purchasing info record description PIR RM find one liter. Planned delivery time. I want to say five days. Export. I want to choose B zero zero tax. Net price ten Indian rupees. Save. We are done with purchasing info record creation under nine zero one three number. Now let us create a consignment purchase order. Slash n me twenty one year. RM Industries Private Limited. In Item Overview screen, Item Category must be K Consignment. Since we are dealing consignment procurement process, Material. Pineapple juice one liter. Quantity I am looking one twenty quantities. Let me choose plant B E one. Storage location. Storage location B E one C. In header details, please check the organizational data. Purchasing organization PBE one purchasing group three five one company code five double zero five. So you can see a net price has been grayed out. It means we are dealing consignment procurement process. Let us save this PO. We are done with PO creation. Okay, the PO has been created under three seven triple zero double zero three five six. Mainly item category K must be chosen when we are creating consignment purchase order to the consignment vendor on consignment materials. Now let us receive the goods. My go. Enter material pineapple juice one liter item okay quantity one twenty quantity we are going to receive check where tab okay where tab you can see movement type one not one k plus when we have created this PO this PO we have chosen item category as k consignment that's why we have got one go one K plus here you can see the material document has been posted successfully under this number. Okay. Now what we are going to do, we are going to transfer the materials from consignment stock to our own stock. Let us check the stock for pineapple juice one liter. MB. This is the material. You can see apparently the stock 120 quantities are lying at vendor consignment BE1C consignment storage location. Now we are going to transfer the stock from consignment stock to our own stock. Let us do MB1 transfer post. Movement type. 
storage location B1C enter since it is special stock consignment stock you will have to enter the vendor vendor is ORM receiving storage location BE 1R BE 1R is meant for raw material storage location material quantity let's assume that we are going to withdraw around 55 numbers 55 pieces okay save we have got an error material plant be1 storage location be1r does not exist we get this error go to transaction code mmsc Here we need to add the storage location BE1R. Save function has been carried out. Now let us resume the transfer post. We will be done with transfer posting. You see the document has been posted. Now let us do the MRKO automatic settlement. For consignment procurement process, untake this pipeline. Say settle. Vendor must be chosen. Aram is going to be our vendor okay rm is our vendor under 5005 company code plant b1 material you can choose All right. Now let us do the settlement. Execute. Apparently, you can see the document number has been generated, which is nothing but accounting document. We have withdrawn fifty-five quantities. So now the consignment uh, settlement has been done for the consignment vendor. You can check the stock in MMBE slash n MMBE. Execute. Here you can see earlier the stock was 120, which was lying at uh, consignment storage location BE1C. Now, what we have done, we have withdrawn 55 quantities so that this consignment stock has become 65 quantities. Okay, this is how we do the consignment procurement process in SAP system. Alright, that's it. That's the ending. I'm done with the class. I hope this class helps. Thank you so much.